Hello everybody, I am Hereticos. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum, Episode 5, Mirror Match, New Game Plus. We're battling Grandpa. Again. I'm trying to think of other videos I could record while uploading these I series. Doing well, so that way I could kind of have, like... This is going to be more like I'm trying to get more of the um like I have a lot of capsule monsters like by now you guys have already seen the uh new game plus that I did and new game plus was literally just the um uh just me playing through each area as a whole so that was like an hour and a half for each one going through shop just bullshitting around um, Petit Moth, Papa Roach. Don't tell me he had two Petit Moths. Papa Roach. Shit, are we gonna be out of creature? Grebo, right arm, Petit Moth, Papa Roach, Petit Moth. Shit. We're actually gonna be shy of creature because of it. Luckily, we do have the ability to shield. Damn. This is like a mirror match gone wrong. And the right arm. He only has five creatures? Or six creatures? Three, four, five. So that means we should only have four. Alright. Alonzi. Let's place him down. How do we want to do this? So, Karibo gives two shields. We'll give it to Papa Roach and do we give it to the Exodion? Is the real question. Do it because Karibo will hit harder. I want to say, but this thing might hit further, which is a little more important. And being down a monster it's super sucks. To, to be honest, if I would have just let the Root Water take a hit, probably could have saved that other pet moth. Damn, I didn't, even, I didn't even think about having another fucking pennant moth. Shit. That was like the last thing on my mind. This is gonna make it a lot harder if I make mistakes like that in the future. Just being 50 50 with somebody is a pain in the ass enough, but to actually have to fucking not know for certain if I'm going to be able to beat them with limited creatures is scarce. So we got perfect block online. I think I might save it for the Karibo. We definitely need to watch our tiles. Because this is a tiles game I'm not going to be happy to have. So I'm thinking we just get in there and stir shit up. So, let's see. We'll give it to... We'll give it to the Exodion. It has the second most HP, and it's the only neutral target I have. So, if we put you here... That should bait out the Karibo. We should be able to bait out the Karibo with that one. Ooh, 
that actually ended really well for us too because we didn't have another grass tile until now because if I moved off this one it would have turned to fire and with it jumping there this one turned to grass meaning we two shot this and we take those Dark types pretty much is just balance out here. So if it wants to trade a hit, then it's welcome to do so um, in very off terms. Because it won't be happy with the, with the resolve here. Very much so, it won't be happy with this resolve. Dude. Yeah, that, I don't know about that. Alright, and he summoned his Papa Roach. See, turn style movement is definitely key when trying to figure out who attacks, moves, or does anything. Also, knowing which pieces and, and uh, tiles rotate also determine how likely you are to actually do something. So, like, example, if I move this Karibo here... I set up an advantage and disadvantage, whereas I've, if I move here, I sit on an advantage because he's on a fire tile. I'd rotate this to a fire tile, meaning neither of them would be able to do damage to the Karibo. And I could either attack the Petit Moth, or I could take out this piece. Or no, I can't. So we'll attack this. And now, even if he moves up, no matter which tile he takes, will not be in a simple one. And... That doesn't even wipe out him. So that's a, that's a three-time attack that I'll need. Which is kind of not good, because I was hoping to take out that arm this turn, rather than risking the Karibo so early. But he's got his other plans, so he might be taking out my moth, which that's not going to be good. If he takes out that petted moth, it's not going to be good for me. He's taking out the moth. Damn it. He's actually taking a piece and losing two, which I don't know if that's the play because he's literally creating a 2v2 here. And it's not one or two v three, which is not in his favor at all, because I'm I'm literally setting up the playing field in my favor. Granted, my moth was out of position, but but I'll make it so no matter what he does here, he doesn't actually have a good odds of doing anything. The more pieces we wipe out, the faster um, he loses his DPS, or a DPT, which is damage per turn. And to be honest, losing damage overall is probably scarier than losing total HP in, in turn. Like all my creatures could be half health, but I'll still have the same damage if they're positioned properly. And he's attacking the Karibo with that, which is not exactly the best move. And that shield paid off here, too. Because now, not only do we take out the Moth, but we might also take out... Uh, we might also take out his Papa Roach. 
What does the SPA do? He he helps all friendly monsters within range. Oh wow. It's actually a pretty decent ability. Wow, that actually two shots itself at, at, a, at a certain point. Yep, so next turn, no matter what, we just win. He's just pinned. He's literally just going out slapping something, that's it. He can't even back up to because I can pursue. I can pursue from any angle just because they're lined up properly. It's like a checkmate. It's the ultimate checkmate. And he goes for the creep. Well... Sir. Wood gift. Damn, that takes 200 AP. That's kind of expensive. That shit's expensive. Okay, how well, shit. but you held your own extremely well. <laughs> but don't let your guard down. The oh, I, shit, is he threatening I, me? Thank you. You threatening me, geezer? So we lost our moth, which super sucks. So now we get to edit our deck for the next area. And we take a Papa Roach for the road. Alright everybody, I am Hereticos. If you've enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified on all future episodes. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, and peace! Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me